Kayla Roddy having a great first inning in the pitcher's circle. She was able to move through the inning 1-2-3. As that one is pulled and dropped right over into left field for a single. As McNanny takes a round around first base and scurries right back. As that one is poked over the second baseman, it's going to drop into left field. And McNanny's going to make her way to third. And all of a sudden, it's first and third with no outs. And your Cougars are in striking distance. Needed season due to the COVID pandemic. As Swedberg getting her to swing and miss on some off speed. Pulling the string on that last pitch. As Shaftick will stand in the left side of the batter's box. As she's up and swinging and getting it to drop over into center field. It'll be a first pitch swing and a single for Shaftick. Who has six RBIs on the season. As that's sent right back towards the pitcher. Roddy hits the deck. And everybody's going to be safe. Kayla Roddy did not expect that comebacker. Out, an opportunity to score, and she's up and swinging. Lifted over to left field, and it's going to drop in. One run's going to score. Warwood now making her way home. The throw at the plate, and she's tagged out. Three fly out outs. And that's going to be a ring up for strike three. He has a 386 out. on base percentage as she ropes that one over into left field. It's going to drop for a base hit and possibly more. McNanny heading into second. It's going to be a stand-up double to lead things off for your Cougars here in the bottom of the fourth. Even a 2-2 two and two on Swedberg. As she pulls that one down to right field, and it's going to stay fair. McNanny coming around to score. Swedberg taking off for second and possibly more. Swedberg coming into third. Arter's throw not in time. And Swedberg now taking off for home. Swedberg comes in and scores. All of a sudden, your Cougars take a 3-2 lead. 2018, where she batted 264 as a little blooper just gets over the head of Arter. Coming around to score is Hans. The throw not in time, and your Cougars now take a 4-2 lead. Two on the day. Being one of those runs that scored, and it's going to be dropping in right into no man's land for a two-out single. And only 22 walks. As that's roped over to short for McNanny. Going to two, and going to get the double play. Coming out of the inning with a solid double play. That last year's season ended so abruptly because Swedberg was having a great year from the plate as it continues on for her. As it's going to drop in for a single over in the left. As that is poked over the second baseman. Order can't get it. Moves Swedberg over, and Aylborn is on base now with a single. Really come a long way in this game. From the plate as a uh, bunt sent down the first base. Moves the runners over and everybody's going to be safe. Paige Shaftick laying down a nice bunt down the first base line. Over in 1,000 OPS that leads the team as that is a roper over in the center field. It's going to drop down. Scoring one. Scoring two. Warwood coming into third. Dunn standing up at second. And all of a sudden, it's 6-2. Chatham. The 0-1. Line right back into Swedberg's glove. As that's going to do for game one, Chatham taking a 6-2 win over Teal. Ali Arter at third. As that's going to be a strikeout for out one. It will be the DP. And that's going to be a 1-2-3 at bat for Kayla G. Now two outs. 95 in that first year. She waits on that one and pokes it over to left field. It'll drop for a single. She's rounding first, heading to second. As Beekle can't come up with it. The throw not in time, and it'll be a leadoff double for your Cougars. Katie Warwood on second. Very good first year here as a Cougar. She waits on that one and sends that one screaming over the fence, and it's a home run! Mackenzie Dunn getting the party started with a two-run shot. Shout him up, 2 nothing. She's also allowed the fewest hits in the PAC with now 44, 36. It's a swing and a miss there for strike three. ERA 0-10 in and her pitching outing as that one is roped over into left field. Left center field more so, and it'll be a leadoff single. Five. It's the payoff pitch. Hoffman gets it right past the second baseman. And it'll be runners on first and second now with no outs. The payoff pitch, fought off, ripped over to Arter, who gets the out at first. The run will score as G again moving through that at-bat swimmingly. One, two. 
As she swings and misses, but the ball skips away from Durbro, and it's going to score done. Nine complete Runs. games, as that'll be a swing and a miss for another double-digit strikeout performance, and she gets her seventh there. So again, her ERA dropping off by about six runs. As will be a quick one, two, three inning for the Cougars. And is responsible for half of these runs as she's up and swinging. Puts that one over in the right center. It's going to drop down for a hit. Dunn waiting over at first, looking to see where it's going to go. Wurwood taking off for third. Dunn comes racing into second, and it's going to be a no-out double by Dunn. Runners on second and third with no outs because of that with how much power she's sent. And it's going to be a sack grounder from Lauren Hakes. It'll score the run, being able to get out ahead and that bats early and often as a 1-2-3 pitch strikeout for G. And really try and fight everything and everything off. To Excuse me, number seven, Isabella Siren, who dribbles that one right back to Kirkwood, and it's scooped up by Derbero. The second out, but it'll score the run. A siren will get credited. Much needed wins. As a slow chopper. Over to the third base side, scooped up by Hake, and that's going to do it, folks, for your Cougars. They'll walk away with two straight wins.